just in general sleeplessness. They're not getting enough good sleep at night. Is there a general cause for that? No, there are several different causes, but let's talk about one of the most common ones would relate to snoring and sleep apnea. Okay. S snoring is a real big problem. Yeah, <laughs> can ruin a marriage. Exactly, uh, but snoring is really uh, a piece of a larger picture. Okay, uh, and uh, really to understand snoring, we really have to look at what goes on with breathing. So when a person breathes, air rushes through the back of your throat. As air flows through the back of your throat, it creates a negative pressure. That's called the Bernoulli effect. Whenever you have any kind of flow going through any kind of space, you're going to get this Bernoulli effect. And an example that you can relate to would be a shower. You know when you turn the shower on and the water flows? You know how the curtain sometimes pulls in towards the water? That's because there's a vacuum being created, this Bernoulli effect, from the flowing water. One of the principles of the Bernoulli effect is if you have the same amount of flow going through a smaller space, you get a stronger vacuum. Same amount of flow through a larger space, there's less of a vacuum. That's why if you push the curtain further away from the water, it stops pulling in. Those same principles apply in your throat. So imagine this being the back of your throat. Imagine this being your tongue. Your tongue starts right here, goes to the back of your throat, and goes forward. So this is your tongue, in the back, starting in the back of your chin, goes to the back of your throat, and goes forward. So when you breathe, it rushes through this space. As air flows through this space, you get that vacuum. When you fall asleep, the muscles relax, your airway becomes more narrow, so there's a stronger vacuum. All right? That's true for everybody, but typically that increase is so small that it's negligible. But in some people, the airway becomes more narrow, and there's a stronger vacuum. At a certain point, the vacuum's strong enough that it pulls in the tissue, making it vibrate, and that vibration is snoring. At a certain point, the negative pressure is so strong that the airway will completely collapse. At that point, a person's asleep, they're trying to breathe, but they can't. So there's a brief awakening. With the awakening, the airway opens up and breathing starts up again. And that's obstructive sleep apnea. That brief awakening lasts two or three seconds. The person's not even really conscious of it. Yeah, they don't know. They have no idea. Right. They go right back to sleep, the muscles relax, and the whole cycle starts over again. So that happens repetitively through the night, resulting in someone getting non-restorative sleep, and they're going to be sleepy and fatigued the next yeah, day. Yeah, they've been in bed eight hours, but maybe they've only slept, what, four? Well, it may be the equivalent of, yeah. But the equivalent of that?